Happening right now, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are voting on whether to extend the unemployment benefits. We want to go straight over there, talk to Senator Tom Carper of Delaware. He's here as the head of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee to talk to about Bitcoin. But first, let's go to the developing story. Are the Senate Democrats, Senator, going to get the necessary votes that they need to extend unemployment benefits to more than a million Americans? Well, as you know, in order to proceed to the, the legislation, we need 60 votes uh, for, uh, uh, to make that move. We have 55 Democrats. We need at least uh, five uh, Republicans, and we'll see. My, my guess is that we'll get the five or six Republicans that we need. They, uh, I think they're willing to discuss, to debate the issue. Uh, they may not be willing uh, to vote at this point in time unless there's a, somehow a pay for this, uh, that's uh, this recognized. But I hope we'll get to 60 votes. There are a lot of people, uh, particularly in uh, some states where the unemployment rates is uh, 10 percent and higher, they, they, they frankly can't find a job. They need some help. And this is Senator one of the best ways to continue to stimulate the economy. It's obviously a tough debate. No one wants to look heartless, but when you have GDP running two to three, maybe better this year, we don't know. When does the emergency, so to speak, end? Well, I, th I think the thing to do is to, to, uh, to let the extension uh, end for states with low unemployment. And those states where the unemployment rate uh, uh, approaches or exceeds uh, double-digit uh, levels, we want to continue to provide uh, a, a longer uh, level of support for those people. All right, well, we want to also pivot here to Bitcoin, because I know your committee, the Committee of Homeland Security and Government Affairs, has been doing some digging on this topic of virtual currencies. You've held a number of investigations and a hearing. So far, what have you found? Well, actually, I, I, I knew next to nothing about Bitcoins and, and uh, virtual currencies uh, about six, 12 months ago. It turns out the federal agencies, the Treasury Department, the IRS, the Justice Department, uh, Homeland Security, uh, the... Uh, Consumer Protection Bureau, actually they're on top of it. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that they are communicating with one another, they're collaborating with one another. Sort of the theme that emerged at, uh, at our hearings here was, was basically this. When the internet was young, people said, well, who cares about that? Uh, some people say, well, it has, a, has some upside potential. Some people say, well, it has some downside potential too with drug transactions and trafficking of, you know, money laundering, all kinds right. of downsides. But the, I think the early message on the, the internet was, let's not kill the, uh, the baby in the cradle. And uh, I think there's some upside here for, for Bitcoin, virtual currencies. We, it's not altogether clear. We know there's, uh, there's bad th stuff that can happen uh, through the use of virtual currencies like Bitcoin. But we also know that some good things can happen. It can enhance transactions between sellers and buyers. It can well, actually help international trade, yeah. and lower the cost of transactions. And uh, so the, I think the theme that emerged from our hearing was less, uh, less keep an eye on the bad stuff, try to tamp it down, find out what kind of legislation that we need in order to tamp it down. And, uh, and that's what we're doing. I'm, I'm sort of surprised to hear you outlining some of the benefits of Bitcoin and how it could help the international monetary system and trade system. In terms of the bad stuff, though, the illegal activity, the Silk Road, how preventable is that for Bitcoin's future? And how long before it becomes a real legitimate mainstream currency? Well, I, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's ever going to become a legitimate uh, mainstream currency. What, uh, what we know is that uh, it's not something we should ignore. We do so at, a, at our own peril. There are bad things that can happen with these virtual currencies like Bitcoin. Uh, we have asked the, uh, the, the FBI, we asked the IRS, what do we need to be doing to make sure those bad things don't happen? They've told us right now we don't need more legislation. They think they have the powers that they, that they need to, to, to go after the, the, the bad stuff. Meanwhile, let's see what the kind of good can flow from, uh, from these virtual currencies like the Bitcoin. Well, we know you're going to continue to look into it. Senator Tom Carper, thanks for joining us Thank you, this morning. Thanks so much.